Okay, final video of the day. What we've done basically is we've put it on the engine and I don't want to fire the engine up. So I've removed the spark plugs and uh, it's not got anything fastened to it. <coughs> uh, and what we're doing basically is spinning it just on the starter motor alone just to see how it's good. And it's not perfectly true. I've retrued it just by hand but it's quite difficult when it's actually on the engine because uh, you can't turn it freely too easy. But anyway, this is what we've got. So you can see, it's hard to hold it still. Probably from the end is best. Well, it's not perfect. You can see there's a little bit of rotation there still. You know, it's just slightly out, basically. Okay, but you, I can straighten that and bend it. And it's certainly this bit's okay. Quite well, if I hold that still, you can see that's not too bad. And what I'll do is probably when it actually gets working properly, things will be. Uh, I'll just try and screw it up a bit better, but that's as good as it needs to be. And what I do know is, is that that shaft does run through. So although it's slightly off centre at the end, if it was centred correctly, then it'd be perfectly true. See, I'm going to overheat the starter now, so I'll just stop it. And I just retrued it by hand, basically, as near as I could get it. And it's, uh, I know it's not perfect, but uh, it's pretty good. And so what we need to do now is, uh, yeah, get the generator mounted. And we can run the thing. I haven't run the engine yet for a while, but we'll just give that as a given.